Yeah. Are you excited to get to Oklahoma State and see a Big 12 opponent? Yes. We've been waiting for this one for a while. Um, they've gotten us the past few years, so they're always a very talented team. You know, I guess last week during Boise, they ran it 58 times, so I know we're excited to get down to Stillwater and um, play that game and stuff, so it should be fun. How frustrating has the last two years been with them? Um, I would say they 2019, they kind of handed it to us. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I mean, last year we felt like we could have gotten that one. Um, we should have got that one, but um, you know, Oklahoma State's always such a talented team, so they're always hard to prepare for and stuff. But um, I think we're gonna be well prepared this year. It's gonna be a fun game. First true, you know, road environment you're gonna see since 2019. What do you think about that? You know, it's it's funny because I guess people always say we open up the Big 12 away, but um, I kind of enjoy. I love playing away games. Stillwater is always such a loud environment with their paddles and stuff, and sidelines are all close to you and stuff. So um, it's going to be fun. I mean, I think our team's ready for a road environment like Stillwater, so we're excited. I forget the exact number, but I know you guys as a defense are allowing less than two yards per rush this season. What is it about the new formations you're using and mentality you're playing with that's allowed you to do that? Um, I think it's kind of been like a – it's been a whole eight-month process. I think coming back – coming off that COVID year, as a staff and as a team, we kind of had to reset our beliefs. And um, Coach Clareman and all the other defensive staff really helped us instill these values and stuff. They're allowing us to play fast. And um, it's kind of been that whole process. You know, our mentality has been built up for eight months. And um, I'm glad to see it's it's working and we're paying, it's paying off and stuff like that. But for the most part, we're just playing faster and um, having fun out there. With how these two teams are kind of comprised, the way they've been running the ball, playing defense, it's kind of feel like a throwback game almost of sorts because they're kind of built the same way. Yes. Um, normally, you'd think Oklahoma State's kind of more speedy. They're going to air the ball out on you. Um, and who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? But it's going to be a fun. It's going to be fun for us. Um, you know, the rushing, I didn't, I didn't really know that stat about the rushing, but um, that's good to hear. But, you know, we're going to be ready for whatever they bring to us. Um, we're going to prepare for everything. So You've seen Spencer Sanders probably a ton at this point. I think this is, was a third matchup against third him? Third matchup, yep. Is there anything different about him this year, or is it kind of the same Spencer Sanders you've seen the last two? Um, I mean, he's he's been such a talented quarterback. I remember when he first came in the league, I was like, that guy's going to be special. Um, and he's proven that. he's He can run the ball. He can throw the ball. He makes plays. So um, it's going to be a really good challenge for us. He's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. So. That'd be awesome. There's a player on your defense that has probably taken the biggest step forward. Who would you kind of pinpoint that so far through three games? Um, I would say Felix, Felix Anaduke. I mean, he's even from the defensive back standpoint, you don't really see much of that during like practice and fall camp. But um, seeing him in the first games, I've kind of watched a couple clips. I'm like, wow, that guy, he's really making a difference for us. And Daniel Green's another one, other guy. Ryan Hennington's another guy. So it's awesome to see those type of guys making plays. Daniel, what's been the what's been the biggest thing that he's so, the step that he's yeah. taken? You think? He's just playing so fast, and it's it's awesome. I mean, you guys see it from the sidelines and all that stuff. He's playing so fast, and um, he's able to. He knows the defense so well now that makes him play fast, and he's able to run to the ball and make plays. So he's more confident in himself, which is great to see. Uh, 